to the Tarot Cottage. I'm back again today with a pick a card reading for you. My name is Amy and if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your friendship. Thank you so much for being here on this channel, spending your time here with me. I truly appreciate you. And if you're finding yourself here with us for the very first time, please join us, pull up a chair, grab yourself a cup of tea and some snacks and we'll have a bit of a chat because we're all friends at my table. So today's pick a card we're looking at who is secretly crushing on you right now? So who is secretly thinking about you? Who has a crush on you? What are their secret thoughts and intentions when it comes to you in this connection? We do have three piles to choose from. Pile number one with the purple flower. Pile number two with the pink flower. And pile number three with the yellow flower. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, just know there may be a message waiting for you from Spirit today. Um, so I'm going to jump right into pile number one again who is secretly crushing on you? Who is thinking about you all the time? What are their secret thoughts and feelings? Pile one. Hello, everybody. In pile number one, you were drawn to the purple flower, and this is your reading. Who is secretly spying on you or crushing on you? Who secretly has feelings for you, and what are they thinking? What do they wish they could say to you? Who is this person, first of all, spirit? We have the ace of oysters or the ace of pentacles we have the knight of cups who is this person spirit that is crushing on group one the knight of flamingos the knight of swords let's clarify that ace of pentacles who is crushing the death card the high priestess and the two of wands hmm. ace of wands on the back of the deck i just want to take a peek here with the full with the six of cups so this could be somebody from your past somebody that you grew up with and i'm almost getting the sense that it could be someone that you almost rejected perhaps in the past as well they may have asked you out or there may have been flirtation in the past but they kind of felt rejected um, in the past of this connection a little bit. Um, they kind of offered up this valuable opportunity and they felt like you sent them packing at that time, which sort of created a little bit of um, hesitation in their heart and made them, it hurt their pride. And now it makes them sort of vulnerable. It makes them feel emotionally vulnerable to kind of express themselves now. So they really sit upon this feeling that they have for you, these, this truth that they have about this connection, about how they feel for you, they feel the need to hide it now, even though there's a sense of urgency inside of them to want to act again. Um, they still, again, haven't made that that distinction yet to take that first step. They're just kind of imagining what could be. I feel like they spend a lot of time in fantasy land about you with this ace of pepper mills, this ace of wands at the back of the deck. And with the six of cups, it's just a beautiful sense of nostalgia. Again, a beautiful sense of rose-colored glasses when they think about you. Despite the fact that some of you may have rejected them a little bit in the past or they felt rejected in the past, they felt like an opportunity was passed up in order, and that sort of played upon their confidence and the ability to move forward now. So let's see what some of their current thoughts of you are. What are they secretly thinking about? This person who can't get you out of their mind, who is crushing on you. What are they secretly thinking? <clears throat> it brings them anxiety, nine of swords. <laughs> Oops, sorry about the wobble. It brings them anxiety to think about this situation or to act or to create change here. Um, it's like, it's an idea of, you know, what could have been, what we could have had together. The potential of what could have been is what I keep hearing because we have these on the floor of the hanged man and the ten of cups. It's just this sense of I I go over and over and over in my mind what I shoulda, coulda, woulda done. Do you know what I mean? It's shoulda, coulda, woulda right now is what I keep hearing. This is what could have happened. But my inaction in the past or even just my inability to create the momentum this this connection needed. We have the Eight of Cups. They're focusing on the parting 
and they're focusing on the fact that they want to communicate with you like they want a revisit of this connection I do feel like this is somebody from your past again somebody that there's a history with that you may have rejected in the past here that can't get you out of their mind and they go over and over about maybe for some of you they never even quite made it to that point of making that offer before the offer was kind of taken off the table what do they think about what are their secret thoughts they're fiery they've grown up and they want you to know it <laughs> they want you to know that they're fiery and that they have skills now they feel stuck and unable to kind of make moves towards you and I don't know if this this essence of not kind of matching up to your level they're kind of they present themselves in a physical way like the king of wands like they want to show you kind of what their skill set is now in the bedroom and that type of ideology but the eight of swords shows that they do feel stuck to reveal their truth to walk away from their insecurities it traps them their insecurities are still very deep when it comes to you but in the future here we have the page of Pentacles with the wheel of fortune a sudden turn of events or the hope for a sudden turn of events to get the chance to communicate with you and that's what they really secretly think about is this faded event and they think that it is faded that the two of you will speak again or see again if see each other again if you're not in contact with the person that you think this is and it's like they go over and over in their mind again what that's going to be like and how everything's going to go in that conversation <laughs> they want you to look at them like again that you they have worked on themselves and they have grown they want you to be impressed by them these are some of the thoughts that they have when it comes to you what are some of their secret thoughts what are they thinking who's crushing on group one we have a leg up so definitely this idea of um someone you may have known from the time you were a child someone that you went to school with And exchanging gifts and this is interesting too because it reminds me of that uh, six of cups card where they're kind of giving gifts to each other this person wants to be generous with you they really want to be generous with you and there is this person seems pretty focused on the family unit and on um, tradition they seem to be a very traditional type of person back of the book back of the deck is by the book rather again that childlike imagery of having to do things by the book having to do things right a sense of responsibility here with this person what do they wish they could say to you what are their secret thoughts perseverance or they want to let you know that they have they have felt this way for a very long time even when they feel left out in the cold even when they feel um, disconnected from you entirely they have persevered and they have grown they do want to express the fact that they have grown that they are no longer like there's a sense of them wanting to make sure you know that they've matured we have joy when they think about you it makes them very very happy and they ultimately want you to be very happy as well they think about that a lot back of the deck is the insecurity card which kind of encompasses exactly how they feel like how they felt in the past and how they're still feeling today and for some of you watching I do feel like it's been a long time that they felt this way um, these feelings of insecurity We have express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture and they do think a lot about that again about communication about walking away from their insecurities and being able to express their truth to you about stepping outside of their comfort zone we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments and this person is really focused on growth and focused on the fact that they want you to know that they have grown in this time of disconnect the back of the deck is the retreat card they've used this retreat time wisely is what they're saying what do they wish they could say Secretly thinking. Secretly crushing on you. we have hands of cards taking a chance risk being strategic that page of pentacles that wheel of fortune 
a sudden turn of events. This person is going to reach out and communicate with you. Take that as it resonates, but for some of you, communication is coming in. We have self-indulgence, focusing on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work. And I feel like that shadow work really did come in handy for them during this time of disconnect, or if you are in no contact with this person. And um, we do have the hammer on the back of the deck as well. It does talk about rebuilding, working on themselves. Let's look at messages from this person, if they could say anything to you right now. What are they secretly thinking? What are they secretly thinking right this moment? You're my soulmate. It's like all I've had is time to pontificate upon this connection, and I've discovered that you are my soulmate. I miss you regardless of how things look on the outside. You drive me crazy. I feel like there's a lot. Like I said from the very beginning, I feel like there's a lot of fantasy happening. And um, they've worked up a pretty impressive image of you in their mind. I replay everything that happened in my mind. And I am afraid of rejection, for sure. This person is definitely afraid of that. I made a huge mistake in the past, either acting or not acting upon my desires. I'm making plans. We have Ice Queen. So a concern about how you will receive them. But, you know, the Ice Queen reminds me of the Queen of Swords, of course. And she really is someone who will cut your head off if you're not serving her. I can't stop myself. I need closure. I know we are going to start over. Playing the waiting game. Nothing brings me peace. <laughs> Back of the deck is, I want to take a risk with you. So this person that's crushing on you is crushing hard. That's for sure. Advice, please, for group one. This person who is crushing on them. He can't stop thinking about them. Could be Leo Aries Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands in the bowl. We have air energy with the king of swords and we have the ten of wands. So that king of swords really represents the, the growth and the clarity, this position of authority that this person wants to be seen in. Um, but they do have these intentions of fire and passion and they really think about that a lot, about charging in with that knight of wands energy. He doesn't have a plan of action for the long haul, but he does focus on self-gratification or instant gratification, rather. The Ten of Wands really shows that this is a situation, this person that's crushing on you is really blinded by the situation. They do feel burdened by it. It keeps them... I don't feel like they have any intention of ever putting those wands down, though. There's no intention, despite the clarity that they try to kind of express here with the king of swords i don't think they have any intention of putting the wands down but this bubbling up inside of them so we have the empress and the star energy aquarius in the bowl so water and the star in the bowl we also have aquarius energy with the starfish which is about healing healing yourself from past hurts past disappointments growth change we have the horse, which is a chariot. Again, water energy, cancer represented, but also about decision and movement in this connection. We have do as you would be done by. And we have a quarter uh, from 1995. So the 25th of the month could be significant to you. All right, group number one, that is what I have for you. Who is secretly crushing on you? What are their secret thoughts? Um, if this resonated, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos that I post. Um, you can check out my links below for private readings and my Instagram link. But mostly I hope that you come back and visit me on another day here at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Hello everybody in pile number two. You were drawn to this pink flower. 
Um, and this is your reading. Who is secretly crushing on you? What are some of their secret thoughts? So who is secretly crushing on you? Sorry if you can hear thumping. It's my kids thumping about. <laughs> who is secretly crushing on you? So we do have the Ten of Swords coming out. Who is secretly crushing on you? So the Ten of Swords is like this idea of, of maybe I should give up on the situation. Two of Cups. Um, it's like somebody who has really held out this crush for a very long time. And it's almost to the point where they're wondering if they should hold it out any longer. It's like, I, it's a painful type of separation, um, mentality. It's like, I'm separated from this person or it's not going my way. And so I feel like I should give in and give up page of cups. But the problem with this person is that they feel like this is a soulmate connection and they really feel like there's opportunity here or the potential for a brand new beginning, a brand new emotional start for them. And so they can't let go of that hope. Let's clarify that Ten of Swords. Who is secretly crushing on group two? Nine of Cups. Yeah, they can't let go of this hope because that Nine of Cups represents a dream come true, a wish. Like you are their wish come true. This person is in love with you. It's not about crushing. They're, they're showing that they are in love but they have this inability to be emotionally vulnerable because they're fearful of their hearts getting broken. Ten of Wands shows that they've really experienced this passion for you for a really long time. It's boiling up under the surface. It has nowhere to go and it's really blinding for them. I feel like it's somebody that has, again, has felt this way for you for a very long time. Ace of Pentacles at the back of the deck. They want a new beginning. They want an opportunity with you. They just want a chance with you. But there is this sense here of hesitation with the Four of Pentacles. It's like I'm hoarding my feelings. I don't want my heart to get broken. I don't want to lose what I've amassed on a practical sense either. And so this person, despite having deep, deep wishes and fantasies about this connection, um, they teeter between sadness and hope. I've got the hiccups now. <laughs> they teeter between sadness and hope. And this Knight of Chalices, it is about movement and having an offer coming in. The Two of Cups is about a relationship forming. But the Knight of Cups does hesitate to be emotionally vulnerable. He is over the top romantic and he ticks all the right boxes. But he does kind of hesitate to be emotionally vulnerable. And it is because this person is fearful perhaps of getting their heart broken. Um, so let's look at uh, what their secret thoughts of you are. What are some of their secret thoughts? What are they secretly thinking? Five of coins, five of pentacles. So they feel like they are left out in the cold. So this is could be a no contact situation where this person is in no contact with you. Someone from your past that you've lost contact with. They do feel an emotional sense of poverty here um, and a secrecy. They feel very intimidated. They feel intimidated and perhaps they feel insecure about revealing their truth. Ace of Swords. But they are 100% clear about how they feel. And I don't know if they've used this disconnected time to their advantage in order to gain that clarity, but they're really saying that you know, I'm 100% sure that I want something, a fresh start here. I want communication. I want to speak with them. And, and I would use that opportunity to my advantage. Passion, the King of Wands, Leo Aries Sagittarius, and the King of Swords. Back of the deck, again, Four of Cups here with the Hanged Man. So it's really that sense of negativity, that negative type of mentality, that apathetic way of feeling that's holding them back from um, movement here. That Hanged Man is, is a reminder that we can come down from that tree whenever we want. There's no struggle. We put ourselves there. So it is about surrendering to our current situation. Um, and this person, it's like they're so sure that nothing will ever change that they wouldn't even see an offer if it hit them right in the nose. 
if the offer came up and hit them right in the nose, they wouldn't even see it because they're so sure that nothing could ever change here. They're trying to cling to logic and try, it's almost like they convince themselves that nothing could ever come out of this situation. So they bury their passion, they bury their feelings down, trying to use logic to do so. But it really does tie them up. Instead of freeing them and making them feel more confident, it ties them up and makes them feel less secure in the situation. So this person that's constantly thinking about you, that's crushing on you so hard, they keep fighting a battle within their mind. They keep asking themselves, should I stop this? Should I stop feeling this way? Should I give up on this connection? But something about, you know, it's a wish. It's a desire deep in their heart. It won't allow them. Nothing will allow them to let go. But their insecurities, their fear of failure hold them back here. This four of cups with the hangman energy holds them back from having that security in this connection that they're really looking for of having, you know, the confidence in this connection that they're looking for. Hmm. What do they wish they could say to you? What are they secretly thinking? It's a big impression on you. What do they wish they could say? We have peace. They see the potential here and it's that potential that almost plagues them and brings them peace at the same time. You know, it's like the hope brings them some peace, but then it also haunts them because they feel the connection here. We have loyal heart, which is like a soulmate card here. They feel that connection. They're very loyal to this connection. Um, and it's not going anywhere, but they do feel, again, they're stuck out in the cold. They feel like they're stuck between worlds, between communication and this desire for a new start. And they don't know what to do to move out of this energy. That Ten of Swords is that ideology of maybe I should let go of this idea that my ego has become really transfixed upon because it's not serving me. This energy isn't serving this person. They feel very downcast about it. It's thrusting them into that Four of Cups mentality. On you. We have an impasse, which is interesting because we have the between worlds cards here. So there is a, it's like a, a, an important moment in time right now in this connection. This person feels that they're stuck between this place of complacency and the desire to act. Um, and the moon imagery there really reflects our insecurities. Again, the moon right in the center of this spread really shows that that's what's stopping this person from action the insecurity and they're at an impasse, a benchmark, impatience, climbing up there. And the moon is kind of prevalent in that picture as well. There is a growing impatience, a growing urgency in this person to reveal their truth, to unload some of their burdens. And it's, again, there's hope here, the miracle card on the back of the deck. It's like that sense, like if I give up now, tomorrow, maybe everything will change. It's like, I don't want to give up because it's never over in my heart. It's not over. They have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And like I said, they teeter back and forth between freeing themselves or what they think will be freedom and maintaining this connection. We do have separation at the back of the deck, clearly indicating to me we are in separation. We are not together. I have to pine for this person constantly, and it's very painful. Chemistry on the back of the deck because of the strong magnetic attraction that exists between the two of you. Let's look at some messages from this person, if they could say anything to you right this moment. What are they secretly feeling and thinking? This person that is crushing on you right now, what are they secretly thinking? And feeling I miss you regardless of how things look on the outside I can't make the first move towards you <laughs> I feel stuck I feel entrapped um, I feel uncertain it's a real self perseverance perseverance type of or preservation rather type of mentality here I dream about the life that we almost had I wish I had been more honest with you. 
and I am watching from the outside. So they are keeping an eye on your social media if you have it. Back of the deck is I feel stuck. Oops. This person said if they could say anything, please. Ice Queen, concerned about how you're going to view them or how you view them right now. They could be concerned that you're angry at them. The only thing that makes me happy is you. Thoughts of you tempt me so much. And that's what that King of Wands really represents. It's like they get tempted and then they, they pull themselves back. Sleepless nights. I get excited when I think of you. And addictions come in many forms. You are my addiction. I need a break from this. Do you ever think about us? Back of the deck is I want to take a risk with you. Let's get a charm before you group two. Who is crushing on you right now? Their secret thoughts. We have the tower. Ooh. We have the king of swords. And we have the magician. So there's a desire here to communicate, but it's almost like they're trying to hold back. For some of you, they're trying to hold back with logic because they're sure that it could cause a chaotic moment in your life or some sort of breakdown in your situation currently. So they're trying to stay back using logic, or at least that's what they're portraying their hesitation as, as logic. But there is a fear associated with the tower of irreversible change. So there could be a fear of them causing chaos in your life right now, perhaps. We have a bunch of bananas here, which is a symbol of friendship for me. We have Taurus in the bowl. We have a, chain, a leaf here. It's about change being the only constant in life. So the only thing we can depend on. We have the, the mermaid in the bowl, which is really a symbol of a siren. Kind of, you call this person out. They feel like you are calling them from the depths. It's almost a dangerous feeling. You feel dangerous to them at times. A penny here from the year 1999. So they would like to communicate with you and that year could be significant. We have the hanger, so somebody feels left outside, left on the hanger, <laughs> hung out to dry, left in the background. And we have the high priestess represented by the curled shell because it holds secrets and so does she. And so there's a deeper wisdom concerning this connection here that exists. All right, group number two, that is what I have for you. If this resonated with your situation, if you know who this is who is secretly crushing on you, then please leave me a comment in the comment section. I would love for you to join our little family here and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. If you're interested in a personal reading, I offer them as my schedule allows through Etsy. The links are below. Um, but mostly I hope that you come back and visit me on another day here at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. Take care. Hello everybody in group number three. You are drawn to this yellow flower um, and this is your reading. Who is secretly crushing on you? What do they secretly feel and think about you? Who is secretly crushing on you? Group three. Who is secretly crushing on you? We have the hanged man. So somebody who has um, been feeling about you feeling a certain way for you for a while and hasn't acted, has kept their feelings kind of submerged under the surface. They've put themselves in a position of almost feeling powerless. The lovers, Gemini energy. The king of wands coming out. Let's clarify that hanged man who is secretly crushing on you. The six of pentacles. So this could be somebody that you uh, went to school with perhaps Someone that is your equal counterpart, someone that sees you as an equal. Hello, we're kind of flying all over the place here. Page of Cups is coming out. Who is secretly crushing on you? King of Wands. Eight of Swords. So back of the deck is the Nine of Swords here with the Ten of Swords. Interesting because I saw the Ten of Swords as I was shuffling. So again, this person has a lot of anxiety about revealing their truth. And there are times when they almost feel so 
I don't know if they suffer from anxiety or the inability to kind of express themselves, but they suffer from the so much anxiety about it that it makes them feel unable to speak around you. I don't know if they stutter around you, but it's like you make them very nervous. And it's to the point where almost it's like it seems easier to give up than to try to risk my heart, my feelings, my ego here in this situation because the nerves are so palpable. It's like they're losing sleep. They go over and over in their mind everything that went wrong, things that they said that they think are stupid. Like this person is crushing so hard and they don't see themselves as a, an equal. Like they see themselves or they're presenting themselves as your equal in regards to position. So they could have been somebody you worked with or someone you went to school with. But as far as emotional maturity or as far as um, how they view themselves in the world, they're kind of showing themselves as this page of cups, which is someone in need of growth <laughs> of emotional growth they have a decision to make here with that lover's energy and they're acknowledging the deep attraction that exists and the fact that they think that this is in their mind they really think that this could be it for them in the long haul like this is what they want um but then we have that eight of swords so there's a mental entrapment these feelings of insecurity these feelings of self they don't have a lot of self respect or not even self-respect but self-love um holds them back and they're on like they are ascending they are moving and they are, are are trying to kind of conquer these feelings of insecurity uh but it's difficult for them and with this ten of swords it is a call for us to let go of an idea that the ego has become transfixed upon so it is a call for us to let go of something that we have our heart set on because it's not serving us or the way in which we're feeling right now, what has led us to this point is not serving us right now. So this person wants a new beginning. You can see here with the um, butterfly imagery that they want that fresh start. They want to move this into a new place, but they have to make a new plan of action. I do feel like they are watching you. If you're not in contact with this person, if you know who this is and you're not currently in contact, they are keeping tabs on you on your social media for sure. Uh, and again, they've, it's these feelings that they've pushed down for themselves. It's like sometimes they've denied it to themselves. They've denied the connection. They've denied the connection to you, but it's always there. <laughs> and it's an admission that I can, I can act if I want to, like I'll act if I want to. It's like kind of a bit of a chip on my shoulder. I can act whenever I feel like it. Let's see what some of their secret thoughts of you are. What are some of their secret thoughts? Some of their secret thoughts, please. Person who is crushing hard on group three. We have the six of cups and the magician. So they have a desire to return to you to communicate their feelings. That six of cups is somebody from your past that wishes to return to your life. There is soulmate energy floating around that card if you subscribe to that ideology. And it does communicate very strong feelings of love. Um, almost to the point where they don't remember things accurately from the past because they put you on such, such a pedestal. Six of Pentacles, again. They want to be generous with you. They want to shower you with gifts. They want to make you feel special. There's the moon showing their insecurities, showing their um, what's holding them back are their fears, their thoughts of not being good enough, not having enough to offer you. But it is a reminder to us that we can't make clear decisions through those energies. We can't make clear decisions through the light of the moon, through our insecurities, through our fears. That just leads us into more doubt, to more fear, to more loss. We have to make those plans by the light of the day. So some of their secret thoughts of you are the fact that they have this deep regret. Again, the Nine of Swords present, High Priestess. An acknowledgement of um, the connection that exists here, an acknowledgement of the knowledge of this connection with the High Priestess. There's a hidden wisdom here, and a star underneath is that hope and faith they have in this, in this pairing in you. That somewhere, someday, somewhere down the line, there's a place for us, or there will, something will happen. The universe will open up, and we'll have this beautiful um, reconciliation. That three of swords, they want to communicate. It could be even communication of a um, apology that needs to come through. 
And I will say this, the present energy here is the Eight of Wands, which is a fast a fast flying communication that wants to come in. So for some of you, you may hear from this person, they may try to push through these anxiety, this fear and communicate with you, or that is the desire, the intention here. That Nine of Swords though, just shows them going over and over and over. I don't know if they suffer from depression, but there is a deep sense of sadness here. So a sense of sadness, loss, um, it's anxiety. This person could have um, dealt with this in the past as well. But a real desire to want to communicate with you and return to your to your situation, to your life, so that they can express that that sadness to you. They want you to know how they feel. We have between worlds. So they feel like they're in a state of limbo right now between speaking with you and communication. And they're right in the eye of the storm there. And that's where they're doing up all of this kind of conjuring up with that magician energy. It's like they're, they're focusing on the fantasy of a reunion. We have the fates. And she's adorned in all those beautiful star imagery. Aquarius really um, prevalent here in this pile. Um, but the fates talks about connections that are meant to be as far as on an energetic plane. Something that is belonging to you, something that is tethered to you cannot be lost. And this person ho hopes upon hope that that's true. And hopes upon hope that they'll be able to push through these obstacles and one day communicate that with you. We have all that glitters on the back of the deck. Somebody in this connection could be concerned about what other people think. I think that they're really worried about how you will view them after this time apart and how they're concerned about what you'll think about their position in life right now. Because I feel that they are kind of struggling with a little bit of mental health. Take that as it resonates, but some of them are struggling with some sadness and mental health. And that's something they don't want to show to the world. They don't want to be vulnerable like that. We have wisdom. We have that beautiful round belly with the world there. Um, really represents closure and the desire for closure here, the desire for movement. You know, we started out your reading over here when we were talking about how they needed, they were feeling stuck mentally, unable to kind of communicate with you, but they have gained wisdom as far as their knowledge of this connection that high priestess sits upon knowledge and wisdom that she knows to be true is it, it is an indication from spirit as well that you have spiritual gifts within you that we're all born with intuition and that the two of you share this energetic link and you feed off one another perhaps creation that is the magician card that card talks about manifesting what we want. So this person is really hoping to kind of manifest a future with you. But right now their mindset is a little bit skewed. Again, I feel like they're suffering from some sort of anxiety or, or depression. A depress depression-like state that really halts some of their progression towards you. But they are a powerful manifester. They are a very powerful manifester in their own right. George, secretly crushing on you keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations that's what they hope for they hope that they think i get this impression that they feel like they have a lot of problems <laughs> and they don't want to put that on you and they don't want to weigh you down with them but they really also acknowledge that they they need help in life sometimes they need a leg up sometimes and they're hoping that you'll be the type of person that can give them compassion Children, your love life is being affected by children. So some of you watching have children and we have worth waiting for, or you could have known them from the time you were a child as well. They did indicate that they knew you from before, you know, with that six of cups. It's like, I've known this person from the time I was a child as well. So take that as it resonates. Back of the deck is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in this connection. This person that's secretly crushing on you. They could say. They could say 
stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation. And we did have the Three of Swords. So there is sadness here. This person does feel perhaps in the past that they stabbed you. There's a, a, a desire for on the reconciliation when it comes to almost an apology that wants to come forward. And we have masks, not showing your true feelings, hiding your personality, pretending, deluding, gaslighting to protect yourself. Let's see what this person would say if they were right here with us. What would this person say to us if they were right here? I feel stuck. I feel stuck. And it's coming up over that nine of swords and over that eight of swords. The eight of swords is a self-imposed in infliction, a self-imposed imprisonment. This person has put themselves there. That can still be difficult to kind of claw, claw ourselves out of, sometimes even more so. I'm sick of no contact. But I dream of being reckless. And this card comes up when a person doesn't want to wait for clarity. They just want to charge in without forethought. Maybe there's a family situation with children that is kind of floating around your connection. And they dream about just jumping in and not caring about anybody else's opinion or anybody else's feelings. I wish I'd been more honest with you. And you consume my thoughts. Back of the deck is, it's always been you. Whoop. Of course, I would just lose <laughs> half of my little cards on the floor. Okay. What would they say? Please, spirit. Ooh, you are the only thing I lie about. So they're wearing a mask when it comes to this connection. They're lying to themselves, perhaps to others. Somehow, I'm going to make this happen. I feel great, except when I don't. And that's really my Emperor card. It really talks about um, putting on masks. Sorry about that noise. It's just somebody in my bathroom next door. I want to adventure with you. I'm coming. I think I have an idea. Dreaming of a dramatic return. And this is painful. So this person is expressing that it is painful. Again, they, they seem like they are struggling mentally right now. Could be a reverse energy here, but they do feel like they're struggling. I want to start over. Back of the deck is I can see I'm watching. Ooh. Charm bowl, please, for group three. Who is secretly crushing on group three? What do they secretly think about? Ooh, the devil energy Capricorn in the bowl, the tower in the bowl, and the page of pentacles. So there is this ideology of with the devil of an addiction and something that tethers us, that holds us back. Somebody's feeling stuck. Um, that tower is a fear, and it could be the fear that's holding them back, this fear of, of unchangeable chaos coming in, of shaking everything up through that communication. But we do have that page of pentacles. So the desire to communicate is there. Desire to express themselves is there. But there's a lot of fear here holding this person back who's crushing on them. We have T in the bowl. Heard the name Tim. You versus you. We have the fish bones in the bowl as well, which is um, water energy. But it is a reflection of like that ten of swords energy of feeling done in like I need to give up like I need to make a new plan nothing else can serve me in this situation so I need to create a new plan of action we have the guitar in the bowl and we have the empress represented by the flat shell motherhood again there were children theme for, so some of you watching may have children so take that as it resonates all right group number three that is what I have for you who is secretly crushing on you and what are some of their secret thoughts if this resonated, if you know who this person is, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to join our family here and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, check out my links below if you're interested in a private reading with me. But mostly I hope that you come back and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Take care.